Welcome to Bespoke Diaries, today's article is on, No Need to Shatter the Glass Ceiling, by Dr. Rashmi Rattor, Image Doctor, Pageant Coach, India. Warm greetings to everyone reading this article. Welcome to Dr. Rashmi's world where you don't have to shatter the glass ceiling to succeed in any field. Marilyn Loden coined the term glass ceiling 45 years ago. And since then, this term has been taking rounds at multiple forums across the globe. Mostly it presented itself as, break free shatter the glass ceiling. We have inspiring stories of incredible achievers who have worked really hard to break the glass ceiling at different points in their lives. The Cambridge Dictionary defines glass ceiling as, a limit that is unofficial, but understood, which prevents someone, especially a woman, from advancing to a top position, in a company or an organization. Something that prevents someone from getting a more important position in their organization. Basically, these are society-imposed limitations, owing to some preconceived beliefs about how someone should function and how much they must achieve. Dr. Ashmi Rator Image Doctor took the opportunity to introduce herself with, a little too much kind of introduction. During her school days, she has been the monitor, prefect, house captain, head girl and Miss Ina 2001 Delhi, school level beauty pageant. When she started college, she became the general secretary of the Delhi University Students Union during her first year of being at Delhi University. Miss Beauty with Brains 2008, with a first division in her graduation from Medical College, Shpu, Delhi. A practicing doctor past 15 years with an MD in repertory and have been an associate professor and taught medicine to doctors in various medical colleges. Internationally certified image consultant and soft skills trainer. A train the trainer certified consultant. National level beauty pageant winner 2018 India, with Diadem Mrs. India Legacy. Beauty with Substance 2018. Beauty with Brains 2018 in TV reality show. Joint secretary to NGO Society for Rural Improvement. And worked with multiple NGOs on various burning issues. Being an army wife, she has traveled far and wide across the nation and lived in 14 states and 6 union territories of India. And because of this, she has been associated with various professional organizations and personal and social groups in these 20 places and beyond. She draws her experience from observing and working with people from different cultures, skill sets, visions, ambitions, and struggles. At the same time, she has a different lifestyle almost every two years, at times even in less time, she changes her city, house, workstation, climate, hospital, school, markets, administration and everything completely. With all this, she is a doctorpreneur healing, empowering and transforming lives by bringing health, image management, and life skills development under one umbrella with her brand The Image Doctor. Huff. But how do all these achievements matter here? They do because, she is also the first one to achieve this all in her whole network, and trust me her network is throbbing with incredible personalities, and half of the achievements were bagged post-marriage. Oh, she forgot to mention, she is a mother of two young girls, but indeed not the first one there. However, the big question is, how did she break free? It should be a real struggle to bag all this, be the first one every time, and manage it without any guidance from anyone. How did she shatter the glass ceiling? She is a woman too. A daughter. A sister. A wife. A mother. Women face so much discrimination because of their gender. Then how was it possible to stay consistent with her achievements? How? The first step to eradicate anything is, to be completely aware of it. And further up there is a long list of things you can do. Similarly, to shatter the glass ceiling you can raise your concern, be patient, undergo various programs to combat the same, and so on and so forth. If you are interested, you can Google. However, she could never proceed ahead of the first step. Even before she could be made aware of the glass ceiling, she refused to acknowledge that there is any glass ceiling. If you don't acknowledge the glass ceiling you actually don't have to shatter or break free from it. And the rest is history. Dear all, she is an egalitarian and thus she sees the world with a lens of equality for all. 
Thus, if at all a glass ceiling exists, it also exists for all the men, who genuinely enjoy household chores, who wish to become full-time nurturing fathers, and who want to become full-time stay-at-home partners. It also exists for children, who no longer see medicine, engineering, ears or any government jobs lucrative. It exists for anyone who sees it. Nonetheless, it stops existing for all those who stop acknowledging its very presence. You will always find things in life, you search for. You search for obstacles, you will find more, you search for opportunities, you will get more. There are countless examples of people, including women, who made it to the top positions in life, without any background, who have won medals without any resources, and who have created history in all fields from science, politics, and arts to everything which required a formal training, without even being completely educated. Only because they did not depend on their surroundings to succeed. They evolved from the inside out and kept enhancing themselves constantly with time. They knew the essentials of success. They never knew any glass ceiling. There are only two essentials to success. First is to get an opportunity and second is to perform when you get an opportunity. The big game is, that both of these should happen simultaneously. After learning how to play blind to the glass ceiling, now she helps people to stop acknowledging the same. She helps individuals create an impactful image, which assures, they get maximum opportunities, and upskill and upgrade them, which means they perform their best on getting an opportunity, through various customized programs. Thus, she advocates, no need to shatter any glass ceiling, simply practice image management for greater success in life. On that note, this is her Dr. Rashmi Rator the Image Doctor, signing off for now, until we meet in person, with a sky full of opportunities and no glass ceilings above. Stay happy, healthy and blessed always. And believe her, if you can dream about it, you can definitely achieve it. Thank you for your time. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Do leave your thoughts in the comments section below. For similar type of article please reach us at contact at thebespokediaries.com or you can visit our website www.thebespokediaries.com.